Hello, welcome to this IoT session on Proteus. IoT means Internet of Things. The basic component is the ESP8266, this one, and we have a Proteus simulation using very old 8051 series microcontroller that is 89C52, LCD connected, and of course a terminal and a temperature sensor DS18B20 and one USB to TTL converter, since most of the computers today do not have serial port like this, though the Proteus has a serial port, and all these are connected in this fashion. Let's try to understand how it works. First of all, the temperature sensor, which we find here, is certain temperature which can be changed by this. It can go to any temperature that we feel like. This one, like we can increase the temperature, we can decrease the temperature and the same thing will happen in hardware when it is subjected to. Now we have the LCD which will display and let's understand as to how it works. So this temperature data is a digital temperature sensor and that state feeds the data. We have mentioned here the number DQ and you can see it in a zoomed condition because instead of connecting wires we are given the numbers as per the Proteus features. So we have this DQ written here, DQ written here, and the data is going from here to this place. And the program executes, displays this every operation or action here. And then finally, from this RXTX, it goes to the serial port. Here we have shown serial port. And uh, since serial port is not available in many computers and uh, PCs, so what we use is, in the simulation, a USB to TTL converter. This in fact is the hardware arrangement. This of course is the simulation arrangement and this is the hardware arrangement. And the connections are made accordingly. Since this unit, the ESP8266, since this ESP8266 draws a huge amount of current in particularly while transmitting from 300 to 600 milliamperes, it's not advisable to use from the USB that much of power because it could reset the laptop if you are using or even the PC. So they are not designed to supply such high current, such high current in a source way, that means sudden way. So some arrangement can be done, but for the purpose of trial, one can always use this for a short while. And as it regards to the other component circuits, we have deliberately not kept any other, the crystal, the reset arrangement, the power supply to this, the power supply to this, uh, they are all inbuilt in the software. However, one can always connect as per the standard connections of this microcontroller and the LCD and so on. But however, this is the hardware which has to be followed. Now let's try to understand how it works. Now first of all, this temperature data which is coming from here will come here to the microcontroller and the microcontroller executes the program which is written in embedded C and uh, after that it is displaying the entire operation here and this data RXTX for the purpose of saying is we are using a terminal here virtual terminal to C and these connections are finally given to the serial port and the serial port is to be configured to the port that it is taking Normally, Proteus has got port only 1, 2, 3, 4. So make sure that whenever you connect this hardware, it is in the port 1, 2, 3, 4. So accordingly, you change this. Otherwise, it will not work. And after the data is uh, given here, this data, in fact, for this kind of operation, reaches to this USB TTL converter. That means TTL gives this data to the USB. And USB, and ultimately through the USB port, the data communication takes place between the ESP8266 and this and finally from here to the computer. So this is what is the arrangement as far as the hardware is, con is concerned. One can use always a separate power supply with RXTX connected to the ESP and the ground or for the time being just to test. One can use the same power which is coming from the computer or the laptop 5 volt and then use a regulator IC, 3.3 volt regulator IC, LM3117 and connect it in this fashion. The output is the center point which goes to 3.3 volt and ESP8266 which is this one 
the Wi-Fi module we connect to CHPD also 3.3 volt and the ground of course is connected and then the input comes from input which is the, is the 5 volt which comes from here and it delivers 3 volt for the ESP and uh, the most interesting part is since there is a 3 volt 3.3 uh, volt device feeding directly any signal from the TTL converter will damage this so the arrangement is that only for the TX pin the TS pin in fact is transmitting and this ESP is receiving so the TX pin what we do we take a series resistor and connect a 3.3 volt jenner diode and then only we take the output to the RX that means TX goes to RX and RX comes to TX you see the, the RX comes to the TX of this and the RX of this comes to TX of this but with this kind of arrangement that we have so this is what is the initial setup and now we will see how we really get it under the simulation and we will see it now as to how do we really operate this the most interesting part of this is that this data is going to be displayed in a website and that website part also we will discuss for displaying your data one has to use a free website called thingspeak.com you go to thingspeak.com since i have already a member otherwise you have to go for signing like for example if i now sign out and after signing out it tells me signing in so for the purpose of signing in you have to either give your id which you have created password or you have to go for new one now if you have to go for new one sign up give your user id you feel like email and time zone of course you will select from the place where you are staying and a password for you to go to the website now for me since it is already registered so i go for my name and my password is uh, as i have uh, put it and then i sign now once i sign i created some channels the channel meaning once you create a channel like for example you have to go and create a channel here you go and my channel is already created and this is what is two channels i'll open one channel from here and uh, this is my channel you can change the color you can change the data whatever you like and uh, this is how the data is coming from the esp and being loaded here a little bit of things that one has to understand as to the api key what they say you get an api key this is the most important thing this is the key which is to be written in the program and one can have private view or one can have public view also public view meaning anybody not even having an id in the thing speak just by writing the name one can see the data also this is the arrangement as far as seeing the data on the website and uh, we will now go over to how we really operate it now let's have a glance at the program which starts with the 89 series of microcontrollers and then of course the website address has to be ip has to be given and then so on it goes on writing the program as per the need of the esp and uh, we continue writing this program including the lcd requirements the serial port requirement the at commands and on so on are as per the requirement the most important is the SSID of the Wi-Fi router of your own and the password of that particular Wi-Fi router is to be also mentioned that's how it will communicate with the home Wi-Fi unit that means home Wi-Fi router and finally when you come it goes to the data for the DS 1820 also and like that it goes on as far as the requirement of the DS 18B20 is concerned and then the another important this is the thing speak data which has to go this is the api and field one field two field three field four as has been explained in the thing speak so this is how the program is written for execution by the microcontroller and in the final lap while we operate we find the data which is displayed here and so also on the lcd screen and uh, this is how the data goes to the thingspeak and the thingspeak now this is 34 we have written 
well, we can increase the decrease as we say. Now supposing I increase this to a value more than say something, we are going to about say some 75. It still sends, last time it has sent 34. The old data it is again sending 34 and uh, it will send after some time the data which will be seen in the data here. You see, this has already given 34 of that particular date and time and uh, once this next data has flown of 75, this will also switch over to 75 as we can see. After some time it will switch over to 75 and the on the public view also the same thing will happen. It's still not sent. Yeah, now it is sent. Once it is sent, it takes about a couple of seconds to reach the website and on the website you will automatically find that this data being updated. This is what is how the data gets automatically updated in the website and also on the public channel. This is public view. This is this this has now gone to 75 as we see on the from from this from 34 to 75 and the public view also it will go accordingly after a certain time now it is uh, 